We're in the midst of an ecological crisis where over one million species are at risk of extinction and ecosystems are collapsing due to climate change and land use change. Um, and as scientists, we're constantly looking for new methods to improve the efficiency of our data collection, which is exactly what aerial robotics can do. This field is really exciting because it's pretty novel. We can start rescuing people in dangerous situations and we can as well deliver products, with tones and other applications. To developing a new future robots, aerial robots, we need to develop a new material which uh, can make the body of the robots. AMPA is one of the leading institute in this area. AMPA Sustainability Robotics was founded in 2019 as a partnership between Imperial College London and the AMPA Material Science Institute. Now together we came together to create a platform for how robotics and material science can be combined to create lifelike robots. And this is very important because um, materials are often missing in robotics and robotics is not something that material science as a discipline is very often thinking about. So by combining the two skills, the two capabilities, the two um, competences that these institutions have, we can create um, robots that are much different, that have new capabilities that other robots don't have. Biohybrid robots are new emerging robotics platforms that utilize living cells or biomaterials to take advantage of their functionalities. Looking around you, those cells consisting of our body are in micro scale. Yet, they have full multi-functionalities. So they can move, they can sense, or they can respond to external stimuli so that they can control themselves. All these functionalities are happening in this small, tiny, micro scale. None of main-made systems can mimic these functionalities in these size scales. So here at EMPA, we are currently trying to develop a life right robots that can mimic these functionalities of growth of a life, adaptation of a life, or their intelligent behavior by utilizing these biomaterials. One of the larger projects that we're working on for eight years now is the vision to create robots as flying 3D printers. So they would be flying systems that collectively 3D print materials from flight and build layers to do not just repair but also manufacturing tasks. We call this new paradigm aerial additive manufacturing. So using aerial robotics for monitoring infrastructure, especially in difficult to access areas or at height, could be really useful because drones have very few restrictions on where they can go in space. A lot of my focus has been on developing a system that can do the large number of flights needed for aerial additive manufacturing and that can carry an appropriate payload, carry all the material that needs to be deposited and also do this in a precise way. And so to achieve that, I've been working on the manipulator and improving the sensing and control for that. And then I'm collaborating with a lot of people in materials to develop new materials that are lightweight and easily extruded to enable aerial additive manufacturing at large scales. To enable the full potential of this technology, a specific material should be developed that encompass two main concepts. One of them is buildability and the other one is workability. Workability means that the, the material should be pumpable, extrudable and flowable from, from a robot. And buildability means that the end, end product should resist some certain loads and while producing the structure, the material should uh, be uh, powerful enough to resist the upcoming layers, force and weights. Emperor Robotics are developing specialised robots that are allowing us in the field of ecology and conservation to perform tasks that weren't previously possible. So we're using a robot called Sensor Placer um, and this robot has acoustic sensors attached to it and it can fly into the upper canopy region of a forested ecosystem and essentially shoot um, the acoustic sensors into the trees on an arrowhead and once in the trees those acoustic recorders can record for days, weeks, even months and collect data continuously. So we are patenting the technologies developed at our lab and after this we are uh, creating a spin-out company from our university then looking for the business for uh, our technologies developed at the university. This is what is my specialization as well, that is spin-out uh, creation from the research work done at uh, Empower Robotics. 
and uh, we have received uh, many users, clients who are interested to employ our our drones to, to their site and uh, we are hopeful that uh, we will be having a good relationship with them and we will demonstrate what we did in our lab to identify those defects and uh, do some solutions for them and their problems. Ampa Sustainability Robotics is going to grow. We are going to stay in Switzerland in partnership with Imperial College in London and create a stronger bridge internationally between the UK and Switzerland but also with other partners internationally. The overall vision is to really demonstrate how sustainability can be supported by robotics and artificial intelligence, how lifelike robots can become our friends, our co-workers, our co-inhabitants of our cities and how this can be a positive message that can really advance and support society.